Today is a follow-up video to the new Turtles in Disguise Party Pack. All right, so I've already done a review on the Turtles in Disguise Party Pack for Mutant Mayhem, but what it did was encourage me to finally finish the original wave of Turtles in Disguise, and today I'm gonna to point out a few of the differences between the new one and the old wave. I've got the box right here in my hands for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Turtles in Disguise Party Pack from the Mutation Station only at Walmart. As discussed in the other video, we have Beach Bum Mikey, Astronaut Raph, Cowboy Leo, and Donnie as Spock. As I've already stated, I really love this party pack. I love the detail of the figures. I love what they've done differently. I've loved what they kept the same, uh, but it did encourage me to get the old disguised turtle wave. I love completing waves. When I first started collecting turtles, I thought I was only gonna collect Leonardo's and that quickly changed uh, the more I got into waves. It would turn out that I would end up picking up another one and say, well, now I've got Leo and Raph of this one. I might as well just complete the wave. So now I have a bunch of completed and almost completed waves. The wave I'm trying to complete right now is the wacky action wave. Uh, I've got the four turtles, but I need to complete the villains. But as far as this wave goes, the original disguised turtles, you've got Mike the Sewer Surfer, Leo the Sewer Samurai, Don the Undercover Turtle, and Raph the Space Cadet. Now, Leo the Sewer Samurai is my absolute favorite turtle. Any iteration I can get of the Sewer Samurai, I pick up, whether it's a pin or a sticker, or the Sewer Samurai version from Super 7, whether it's the reaction or the ultimates. I just really love Sewer Samurai. So it just made sense to complete this wave. This wave originally came out in 1990 and I think it's the quintessential wave of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When people look back and they think of a wave outside of the original four, I think this one comes to mind the most and I think that's because you've got the best disguised turtles or the best looking turtles with Leo the Sewer Samurai, or pretty much everyone's favorite, Raphael as the Space Cadet. Mike as the Sewer Surfer just kind of fits his character, and then everybody loves the undercover part of the Turtles, and Undercover Don was the kind of original. So I think this wave of Turtles is probably the quintessential, the one that everybody thinks about in their head when they start thinking about variants of Turtles. What's different about this one? Well, first off, you don't have a Sewer Samurai which is kind of a bummer. I'd like to see an updated version of the Sewer Samurai. So what they've done is taking what was originally Crazy Cowboy Don from the Wacky Wild West wave and changed his character to Leo and made him Leo the Cowboy. Now, a lot of people are upset about that, but I think they, they do this all the time. They definitely did it with the Universal Monsters. Uh, and so the change to me isn't that big of a deal. I guess the main problem is you're now adding in this other wave and so you've got this tangent of another wave which is fine again you can do whatever you want uh, and I'm hoping this somehow plays out in the new Mutant Mayhem movie but it did cause me to think about that wave and completing that wave because I didn't have the original Donatello and so it I ended up buying him from my local toy store and now I want to complete that wave because I have Don and Leo from that wave now. They did this again with Beach Bum Mikey. He's no longer the Sewer Surfer, but now the Beach Bum, which is a reiteration of the Beach Coman Mike from the Sewer Spitting line or wave from back in the day, which again creates another tangent, and I didn't have that original Mikey, and it caused me to go out and buy him. You can see in the comparison of this, and now because I have Leo and Mikey from that one, I now want the other two, so it's another wave for me to buy and so on and so on and so on and they did this again in this line with Donnie as Spock which was not part of the original Turtle Disguise as we discussed but he was Spock in the original Star Trek versions of the Turtles I only had Leo as Captain Kirk and now I want to complete that line as well since buying this Mutant Mayhem Turtles in Disguise party pack uh, it has caused me to start collecting Turtles that I really didn't care about, which I guess is kind of what happens as a collector. One rabbit hole leads to another rabbit hole leads to another rabbit hole, and now I'm completing more waves, which is great because 
I'm in this quest for the first 50 Leonardo's from 88 to 97. Uh, and the last handful are pretty pricey and I'm trying to decide if I want them on card or I want them loose. Uh, so in the meantime, I've been completing waves as you can see from this video. And this just helps me complete more waves that I really hadn't spent a lot of time on. But again, I'm really happy with this Turtles in Disguise party pack. I know a lot of people have complaints about it. A lot of people have complaints about everything. They've let me know in the comments, that's fine. But I really like the changes they've made and I really like the way the figures look. And it's, they've done a pretty good job giving nods to old figures and giving us something new uh, to collect. It's not just an updated version of a figure that they've done several times before. Even though I really would like a new Sewer Samurai Leonardo because the new Raf as Space Cadet or Astronaut Raf as they're calling him now looks really good and I really like the changes they made. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think, if you've been able to find this in stores yet, if you have the original wave, what you think about the original wave, what you think about the differences between these two new waves. Uh, leave all that in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.